what the heck are nerves? <laughs> and why should you do nerve glides? Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions lately about nerves, so I wanted to take the time and give you guys a little info. The first thing you need to know is that the nervous system is divided into two parts the central nervous system and then the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system, CNS for short, is uh, consisting of your brain and your spinal cord. Your spinal cord is actually way smaller than you think. It's only about half an inch wide and about 17 inches long. It goes from the base of your brain all the way down your back and it's responsible for carrying information to and from your brain to your body. The brain is the CEO and you have this tree trunk of a spinal cord and then you have the peripheral nervous system which is the rest of the nerves that branch out from the spinal cord. And your spinal cord is housed and protected by your vertebrae, your spine. The peripheral nerves are everything branching out and that actually includes your cranial nerves. And that just means the nerves that are connected to your brain. They help you see, smell, smile, swallow, lots of S's there. It's a lot of stuff that you don't know you're doing but you really need to be doing. Some questions were, what do they do? Nerves send information to and from your brain and your body. Why and when should you do nerve glides? If you see a lot of injuries, discomfort, or a lot of sensory issues in the same line of muscles and skin or joints or tendons that one nerve innervates, you're gonna wanna assess that nerve. For example, when someone has carpal tunnel issues and they're constantly complaining of thumb, index finger, and middle finger pain and pain here, you're going, huh, that all is an area that the median nerve covers. Or if they constantly get tricep injuries, that's a radial nerve issue. If you look at the back of someone's calves and they don't have any hair in the back of the calf, that's probably a tibial nerve issue. It's probably not because you wear pants. There's all these little clues that the body gives us that we need to consider it might be a nerve issue. If you have tingling or numbness, you're kind of thinking nerve. The last question I'll cover in this video is, is it safe? You have to be responsible and make sure medical professional clears you for doing nerve glides, which typically they will. And you also have to remember finding free information online is kind of do at your own risk, right? Because there's a ton of information out there. You don't know what's safe for you. So always, always proceed with caution. Go super slow. Keep the tension at a three out of 10 when it comes to nerve glides. We all have a little, you know, inkling inside of us that the mo more is better and I really wanna feel this. So you push to the extremes, negative. Don't do that when it comes to nerve glides because it's not just a simple stretch. A nerve glide actually puts a nerve at its full tension. So you want to be respectful of your body, especially if it's sensitive. Yes, I would be concerned when it comes to nerve glides. Just don't do them freely and without thinking and like while you're on your phone and checking emails, okay? Go really slow, be respectful, be an adult, be responsible, and take things very cautiously. So that's about it for Nerve Glides. I hope that was super valuable and let me know what your favorite part of this video is in the comments.